Hare Krishna, please accept my humble respects. Please give me your blessings that I become a sincere student of Bhagavad Gita. Today, with the mercy of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, I am inspired to speak on a difficult subject dealing with serious medical issues in children. Actually, uh, the most difficult thing for we adults as a parent is to have to go through uh, the torture of children having to suffer under serious medical condition. How do we deal with this? Firstly, uh, I've been very lucky uh, with the mercy of Krishna, my wife and my kids, that I didn't have to deal with really serious health issues with kids. That is also probably because I have taken up spirituality, meditation, chanting Hare Krishna, chanting Gayatri, and reading Bhagavad Gita, Srimad Bhagavatam, reading accounts of saintly personalities in respect of their religious background. Uh, I have developed a taste for that. And maybe as I developed a taste for that, uh, I just attracted kids who uh, are better souls, who have better karmic reaction so that I don't have to go through uh, the disease, uh, diseases or serious surgical conditions or serious medical condition with kids. On the other hand, uh, I do have some friends uh, whose kids have uh, various difficulties and uh, when I try to tell them, you know, try to take up spirituality, uh, there are a lot of obstacles. So firstly, we must understand the purpose of the material world. The purpose of uh, the material world is to help us understand that we are eternal servants of God. Jive Sarup hai Nityam Krishna Das. That's what Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said. And uh, so, by design, the material nature is going to give us a lot of difficulties, including ill health. So, luckily, in the material nature, we also have yoga, meditation, and scriptures like Srimad Bhagavatam, Srimad Bhagavad Gita. And Srimad Bhagavatam, third canto, 29th chapter, 11th sloka discusses that all the diseases come because of imbalances in the body. In Ayurveda, these are Kapha, Pitta and uh, Vayu imbalances. I am not using the correct technical term but ultimately all these things are Vayu imbalances. And Srimad Bhagavatam also explains that by balancing the life airs, by balancing the prana, by doing pranayama, you can clear all the, the doshas of the body and therefore all the imbalances get corrected in the body. Sometimes we may have to have kids undergo serious medical procedures, serious surgeries, but the surgeries don't fix the underlying imbalances. But in contrast, chanting Vedic mantras, chanting Gayatri mantra, chanting Hare Krishna does indeed fix the underlying imbalances. So our whole culture today is, you know, uh, is dominated by Western medicine, allopathy, where we don't pay attention, enough attention to what we eat and how it affects our well-being where we don't pay attention to the amount of violence which we commit on other living beings and somehow products which are coming out of violence 
to other human beings or to other animals and other plants are supposed to be good for us i do not understand the logic but anyway uh we have kind of commercialized medicine to such an extent that we say oh i'm sick i will go to the hospital get the surgery done and come back after a week or you know go through this difficult situation in life come back and we will continue our life as it is the purpose of this disease is for us to learn life lessons for us to find meaning in life think why is this bad thing happening with us what can i do to avoid it become mentally strong and use the power of the will the power of the mind to cure ourselves without any serious medical interventions in contrast our our kids or even adults are many a time living in a dreamland not really thinking very deeply about the underlying causes for our ill health yes it could be a physiological imbalance it could be a structural imbalance but all diseases originate in the mind in our western medicine we do not have any good understanding of the mind in contrast ayurveda has a much better understanding of the mind and better than ayurveda is yoga where ayurveda stops yoga starts so anyway uh if we do have a sick child we do try to take care of them but we also try to make them spiritual so that they can transcend these material difficulties uh, for example i've had friends who have who have had to undergo serious medical procedures maybe a broken leg or a broken arm or and there are very very uh, complications around it like they take some painkillers and none of the painkillers work then my friend chetan charan prabhu he discovered that by immersing himself in scriptures like bhagavad gita or chanting of hari krishna their pain subsides transcendental literature such as bhagavad gita and shrimad bhagavatam and chanting vedic mantras it's more powerful than the mind if you can subdue the mind the pain of a medical procedure eases out for example at some point i had to have a small dental surgery not a big one and after the initial anesthesia uh, wear off they said i had to take hydrocodone and i didn't want to take hydrocodone because god knows what the side effects are and especially in america a lot of people are taking a lot of painkillers and that's getting them addicted to drugs and all that i just called my homeopathy doctor sri ravi kumar ji and uh i think he gave me some medicine and i took that i told my wife you know don't disturb me for a day or two and take care of the kids please and i just locked up myself up in a room i didn't bakul ki the whole day i did pranayama the whole day and chanted the whole day and managed myself without taking medicine and after after one day i was fine similarly if you have a child who is sick uh please try to avoid medical procedures uh instead get them to chant mantras get them to work on their mind get them to find happiness in meditation and meditation cures all diseases and please get our kids away from our iPhones iPads video games and our silly parties instead get them to hang out with their best friend son and maybe do some pranayama and chant hari krishna there is enough medical research out there uh, which is in the emerging domain that chanting affects your mind in a positive way and by a strong mind you can develop a strong will power and you can cure a lot of diseases many a time we undergo very serious medical procedures our kids undergo medi- very serious medical procedures but do not learn enough in life they still do not prioritize their well being and they are still thinking let me read harry potter or let me watch this harry potter movie and 
watching Harry Potter movie is nice, but it does not do anything to make our health better, and if anything, it agitates our mind. Instead, we have to spiritualize our lives. We have to help our kids spiritualize their life so that they can deal with disease and medical procedure in a better way, and maybe even avoid all this suffer. Now. This is something which is very beautifully explained uh, by uh, Swami Sivananda in his autobiography and in his various books. This is explained by uh, Srila uh, Paramahamsa Yogananda, the author of Autobiography of a Yogi. He, uh, uh, he, you know, he explains how uh, when he was in a helpless situation and his mother taught him the power of prayers, the power of healing yourself by praying to God. This is something which we should teach to our kids. There are so many kids who are suffering from so many life-threatening conditions, who go through so many life-threatening uh, su- surgeries or medical procedures, etc. How many of these kids are we teaching that, hey, you can avoid all this trouble by using God in our favor, by doing a lot of chanting, a lot of meditation. By doing chanting, your health improves. God is more powerful than medical science. Please use the God. Please use the power of God in your child's service. Thank you very much. If I have done any offenses, please excuse me. I am trying to grow up. Thank you. Hare Krishna.